I wish to have an online presence, but unfortunately, I don't have money to build a website. I don't even have money to buy a domain. Neither do I have money to, to for, for hosting. My dear, don't worry, don't think any longer. In this tutorial, I want to walk you through step by step on how to get a free domain, a free hosting, and a free WordPress website, standard website, just as this one that you are seeing. This is my own website. This is my post, my latest post I, that, that I just, you know, posted online. So this is my website. And I and this website is being hosted free of charge with a free domain. Now, I want to walk you through step by step on how to do that. Mm -hmm. Now, go over to Google and then type there on Google Pantheon.io, which is this one here, Pantheon.io. Now, the first one that will pop up, click on it. It will take you direct to the Pantheon site where you can, you know, register and start building your website. So here in Pantheon, Pantheon, you know, is a, is a, is a platform where you can get hosting and a domain and also install a WordPress website. Now, in Pantheon, you can you can also get a free domain with free hosting, everything for free. Let me walk you through step by step on how you can get this free hosting with a free domain and also a free website builder, which you can customize and then make money from it. Now, you come, when you open, Click on get started. Now you can register through your email, your first name, your company name. Your, this your company name can also be your name also, or maybe the name of the your your maybe the name of your website that you are planning to build. Then you put your email address here and put your pass uh, password, and then select the country that you come from. Then agree to Pantheon terms and services then sign up or you can use your google you can also use google to sign in direct so i will be using my google account to sign in so i click on on sign in with google now i will be using this to sign in okay so here you are So make sure you review their terms and services that have been updated so that that uh, window will not appear again. So you click on it and save. Now, this is your email. You put your first name. Let me say, oh, let me just put, okay, let me use uh, my name. So, then it selects your country. I'm from Nigeria here. So you can select your own country, your own region where you come from, then agree to their terms and services. Now you come to see the come to this point. Are you an agency? You click no and then agree to their terms and services. Now you continue. Wait for it to load. All right. So now you can choose from here. They ask you here, do you want to create a new site to and uh, you want to migrate an existing site or you want to set up a team? So we'll click on uh, create my site, create a site. Wait for it to load. Now we need want to install wordpress so you click on wordpress so our dashboard is loading now they are asking you for the your name so I, what i will advise you here is that don't use a lengthened uh, name because you will have you know a sub this is a subdomain 
so they will add their own domain name so don't use a lengthened name so for example i want to i want to create about uh, a, a website about health so i will just type there let me say help me for instance so this will be my domain name and this is this will be my subdomain dev slash help me dot pantheon site dot io so you can choose you can leave the region as a default at default and then continue to install wordpress so you, you wait for it for a couple of uh, seconds okay our wordpress is you know installing all right now we have successfully you know installed our wordpress now you can visit your pantheon uh, dashboard no okay here we are then what the uh, what you need to do is click on site admin okay english leave it at in, uh, english we can select choose your own language so here you need to here you need to write the name you can you need to give your website a name so i give it held name it held me then choose a username please be very very you know careful because this is this is what you use to log into your your wordpress admin page so before you continue make sure you choose a username and a password that you not forget so let's move on i can still use uh, this as held held me <coughs> okay this, this is a strong password so if if you would like to use it no problem you can choose your own password okay so let me choose my own password say so the password is too weak okay let me change Okay, let me confirm the password here. Now they say search engine visibility. So if you if you check this box, it means that search engine will not be able to index this site. So don't check it. So now it's fully set up. Then click, then install WordPress. Oh no. Okay, so here they need our email address. Okay, sorry, our email address here. Let's insert our email address here. So I put my email address all right let's install wordpress okay let me save it now you can log in to your wordpress site all right you set the password and your username and then login now you can see that your website is now fully installed now 
your website is now fully installed the next thing you do is that you have to go to plugin in order to install to install templates that you can use you can customize and use for your website so go to plug in plugins add new now search for astra search for astra then select starter templates activate now your 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 templates have been installed already so go to c library build your website now click on elementor elementor now from here you can choose a template according to your niche so for instance i want to i want to write about health in this website this website is about health so let's type in health so you can see some beautiful templates that you can use some are premium that is you will pay before you can use it some are free like this one here is free so you can choose the one uh, you like from from the from it and then you can customize so let's say i want to use let's say i like this one you can preview you know the page the template and see how it looks so look at how it looks don't worry about this these images everything here will customize them later so here they are asking you to upload your site logo so even though you don't do it now you the site logo is this this is the site logo so you can change this logo or you can do it later so let's let's leave it and then continue so that we can do that later so you click on it you can choose the font you like to use or you can go with the default font and then uh, that is the font colors uh, and the font style you can change it or you can move on so let's move on now say tell us a little about yourself so they're asking you your name can put your name but i won't put my name i will just put my site name so you can put your email address here okay i am you can put if you are a beginner you can put your beginner or intermediate or expert so we'll put intermediate so i am building a, a website for myself and my company so you check this now submit and build my website so wait wait for it for a couple of minutes your website will be fully built and then you can install and uh, sorry you can customize it the way you want it so congratulations our website you know have been built successfully so visit your website now look at how our website is look at the way our website looks like so professional so all this we can you know customize them it's time for us to start customizing our website but we can't cover that in this tutorial if you want to learn how to customize your wordpress website kindly go to the comment section and request for it just right there online store give me the wordpress tutorial and i'll send it to you
all right that brings us to the end of our tutorial today if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing to this channel like and share this video thanks for watching till we see in our next video